One of the biggest jobs every fall on the homestead is picking up leaves. And we don't neglect this job because they are so vitally important to our garden every year. We've got acres and acres of leaves and we're always looking for the best tools to be able to help us with that job. Today we're gonna to show you one of those awesome tools that we just received and that's the new Toro 60 volt blower. This thing has some amazing power and we're gonna show you it in use today. Let's go. So let's talk numbers before we show you the performance and use for the new Toro blower. This has a 60 volt battery and it's a two and a half amp hour battery. What's good to do though is to find out what the watt hours are and you can do that by multiplying both of those numbers together and that's going to really give you the power density for this blower. Now what's really cool is this is the highest rated uh, cubic feet per minute blower on the market right now ahead of everything else even the uh, powerful Ego and that is 605 cubic feet per minute. That is moving a ton of air while you're using this thing. And all that air is being pushed out of this thing at 115 miles an hour. Pretty quick. So we've put the link for this in the description below if you're interested in getting one of these. So as you can see from this space here, Toro has designed this blower to accept a larger battery. They do sell larger uh, amp hour batteries. This is the uh, two and a half amp hour. They sell up to a six, I believe. So it will fit in here with no problem. So you can see when I grab the trigger and put my hand in the position to grab the trigger, it's balanced very well and it does angle towards the front a little bit. You want that because you want it to angle down at the ground when you're just holding it like this. You can scoot your hand back a little bit. I don't have small hands, I don't have huge paws, and it is angled at a pretty good angle for a nice sweeping motion on the grass. You don't want it to be angled way down here or be too flat because that's not, it's gonna cause you to have to use muscle power to actually point it down and that's not good either for uh, longevity when you're cleaning huge areas of leaves. What's really nice too and I haven't seen this on other blowers is this grip right here in the front and you can utilize that to help you in your efforts. Now this thing isn't that heavy and my seven-year-old tried it out the other day. She used the little handle here and she was able to do it with no problem for a good 10 minutes. I love this thing. So there are three other features I want to talk about really quick and one of those is the variable speed trigger. So depending on how far you hold it down, that's the amount of airflow that you're going to get. Slower, higher. What's also nice is this cruise control that you can actually adjust here. that cruise control will set it at any speed that you want. And since we have that cruise control on it, you can move your hand back so that the angle is better for you if you're a different height. So if you're a different height, you're using it, it's not blowing properly, you can set that cruise control, which is really nice, move your hand back and then it'll hang <clears throat> at a different angle because it's gonna have a different balance, really cool. So the last feature I'm gonna talk about is the turbo boost button here at the top. Unfortunately, you can't lock it in with the uh, cruise control here. It's an extra button you gotta push while you're using it and that will get you up to that full 605 cubic feet per minute. And we'll show you the comparison between the full trigger pull and after you hit that turbo boost button. It's a big difference. So we have some different things that we're gonna be blowing around too. One of those, we have a lot of pine trees. So we have a lot of pine needles. Those are incredibly heavy. And we're gonna see how this will tackle a really dense buildup of pine needles also. And lastly, we're gonna show you how long this two and a half amp hour battery will last on a full charge with us pushing the turbo boost button the entire time because that's what's gonna help us clean up the area the quickest if it's blowing out that much air. So as you can see, we've got a ton on the ground already, but there's only about 50% uh, out of the trees. Some trees still have all their leaves. So let's fully depress the trigger and see how many leaves this thing will move without hitting the turbo boost button. And our grass is probably four inches long right now. It's not short, so it's gonna have a lot of uh, leaves sticking in it, but we'll see how it does.
Now we'll do it with the turbo boost to show you how much quicker that is. So here behind the house, I have this huge pine tree right here, and it puts down just a ton of needles. And these are fairly thick in this area because just raking them in here is kind of uh, not really that easy. So we've got our blower. Let's see how it handles a really thick mat of pine needles. Now that's pretty impressive to move those pine needles that easily with this thing. Those pine needles aren't 100% dry. They've got some moisture in them, so they're heavier. Now I've got three bars left on this battery. I'm gonna go charge it back up fully, and then I'm gonna see how much property and how I can cover and how long that's gonna take me. Now, of course, with the turbo boost button on, it's not gonna be as long as they say on the packaging but we're gonna see how much I can do. The nice thing about this battery is, is it's full charge from totally empty to totally full is only an hour. Okay, battery is fully charged. As you can see all the way up right here, we've got two surfaces. So we've got our gravel driveway over here and we've got our about four inch long grass over here. Let's see how long this lasts. I'm gonna get my phone and I'm gonna put it on the timer mode and see how long we can go with the turbo button on because that's really where you're getting all the, um, all the power out of it is with that turbo button on. So we're gonna fire up the turbo. We're gonna put on the timer or the stopwatch, reset it and we're gonna go. Let's go. Oh, she's dead. All right, time. All right, so you can see I've got Oh, hold on a second. All right, here we go. We've got no more juice left and we've got 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. And actually it stopped earlier when I was using the turbo boost button. I let it sit for two minutes and then somehow it got some power back in its brain, back in the battery, and I was able to just run it with the regular trigger for another minute or so, about a minute. I had stopped at nine minutes, 29 seconds earlier, and this went to 10 minutes, 26 seconds. So you, there you go. If you're turbo boosting the entire time, gaining that full 605 cubic feet per, per minute, which you saw moved a ton of leaves, I'm gonna pace this off and uh, measure out how much square footage we pushed, but uh, you'll get about roughly 10 plus minutes of uh, runtime out of this thing. Now we paced off the entire area that we cleaned off. Each one of my paces is three feet. So we did the calculations and we came up with close to 2,500 square feet of surface cleaned off of leaves. Now something that was quite unique is this thing is sucking in so much air through these uh, vents here and pushing it out the front it was actually sucking my pants and they were getting stuck to the side of it. I don't know if that caused an airflow restriction or what, but probably not too much. I kept kind of pulling it away. But if you hold it close to your side there, it's gonna suck on your pants. These are fairly light fishing pants that I use for outdoor work. <laughs> I was stuck to the side of it. Kind of a funny thing. So I'm really impressed with the design of this thing and how much it moves, how many leaves it moves. Those leaves are so important to our garden. And if you haven't seen our videos on leaf composting, go check out up here because they are 
like gold for your garden. They're invaluable. We're going to be talking about that more in the future. So something else really great we had Toro send to us was this universal gutter cleaning kit. What makes it universal is it has the adapter for the Toro blower here, but it also has adapters for other uh, blowers, which is really, really nice. You can grab one of these and it'll fit any blower on the market. So we've got our extension tubes. We've got the different adapters. The one for the Toro has embossed on it Toro, so that's nice. These are for other brands right here. I'll throw those aside, because obviously I've got the Toro. Got a flexible hose, top hose, and this locking mechanism here, and also a shoulder strap. Simple to take this off, push the button down. So I was mistaken a little bit earlier, this adapter that says Toro on it, and it indicates on here is for Toro uh, blowers and vac units. It is not used for this blower itself. This they classify as an axial blower. It's different from their other uh, blower vacs. So get rid of that because that's not going to fit this. That is shown in the instructions, which are terrible by the way. Um, they don't really show how things go together very well at all. but. It's not rocket science, okay? It's pretty easy to get together. This adapter is the one that fits over the end of the blower vac. And not well, I might add. It's just kinda, it's, it's like it, it's not made for it. So that's what this little ratchet strap is here for, is to tighten this to the body, because it just kinda, it falls off here. There's nothing that clicks into place but you better get it on the side here. And actually, I didn't. you gotta get it over on the side for it to actually work really well because releasing it is kind of a pain in the rear end. Um, it's not fantastic. It's, this is kind of like an afterthought and I don't, I don't wanna break it. There we go. Let's see if oh, I can pull it, just pull it off. I can just wiggle it right off. So. They're gonna have to come up with a different type of connection system here, a different type of uh, connector for these axial blowers, as they call them. Another issue I have is this flexible hose. It'll loosen up over time, but it's fairly stiff. Now, for it to go 90 degrees or so, in which to utilize the gutter cleaner, this, this is too short of a piece. You need a, you need a piece twice this length and it barely fits over the end of one of these tubes here. I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay on. I've kind of twisted it. They have this like screw pattern in here, this thread pattern. And so I've kind of twisted it on there, but that doesn't really hold that great either. So if you're listening Toro, this can be better connection. This has definitely gotta be a better connection. Um, I know this is a great blower, but let's see how it does in the gutter challenge. So the shoulder strap is okay. Um, it's not. It's also not made for this type of blower. It's made for their other blowers, um, their blower vacs here. And the blower vacs themselves looks like they've got several different types of uh, connection points or two handles here where this strap would go over. This one, you know, yeah, I made it work. Uh, there's nothing in the instructions about where it should go. We'll loop it over the front uh, handle here and just kind of tie it in the back. That'll work. Uh, but again, this isn't made for this blower. It's made for their other blowers. So I think a system that is made more for this blower is going to be better. And uh, you can see I just pulled that up and it fell right off. So. So what do I think of the gutter cleaning kit? It's okay, but it needs to be re-engineered. It seems kind of an afterthought for these new axial blowers. And this didn't pop off on me. However, it feels like it's going to. And the angle which you're using this top piece, it, it just kind of flops around. And if you have it completely screwed tight, you know, it's not gonna move, but it's at, it'll, at a weird angle to try to use. So it, this kind of needs to be more of a compound angle. So 
this arch is good, but if this nozzle was tilted this way a little bit, it'd be way easier to use because I'm trying to contort my body in this thing to try and blow at an angle into the gutter instead of just straight down into the gutter. Now it's got plenty of power, the blower does, and it doesn't lose much as it's coming up the, the tube. And it's great for a one-story home. There's no way it's going to do two-story. But yeah, it works, uh, it works pretty good. And I'm thankful to have it. So those leaves are so important for our homestead and for our garden. We're going to be putting out some more videos on leaf composting here in the near future. And this thing is helping with that task and making that task go a ton faster. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you how we make our pure leaf mold compost. Have a great day. We love you. See you next time. Bye.